Titans versus Cyclops. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The first match of the Mexico Major getting started. Yeah, Malusi Bands were fairly prevalent when she was first put into the game mm -hmm. just due to her relative strength that's tapered off. Yes, a lot of jump forward, but not before Gator has something to say about it. It's a double for him. Oh! Go for it, though. The M590 hell. Still has the stuns, but ends up going wide with that. And it's him with a great move. He'll sneak into construction, but now Bride, he's been marked out. And Sue, oh, what a great shot. Sight already halfway uh, through to their plan here. Sue's are trying to sneak up on it, but no, he's going to be denied. There's too much control towards Blue here. Black Ray, though, able to sneak up. Makes the mess up the Nitro cell, but still, the swing from Black Ray will not pan out. He goes down. Iagator's all that's left. Because he has no real fallback route now. No safe one, anyway. He is going to have to oh, stick here, but what a name oh, 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 oh. from Shiko. Right. That's not going to stop him. He goes in here, trying to figure out the situation, but he can't get a handle on it. So, full purview over most of the site. In fact, should be able to deny this. Oh. Tries to go for the supporting players first, though. Only 10 seconds left. Kyger able to fend it off. Two kills going into their oh. favorite so far. Freed, hey, though, with the sidearm, trades it out. But will it be enough? Down to five seconds here now. Shiko assisting, finally picking up another kill. Iagator in a good position to trade, but no! He's going to get overwhelmed by Shiko instead. The plant now down. We are at null timer. If they can stop it, though, the round! Lots of crosses set up here for BDS. And oh, no, Iagator. Oversteps in this Black Ray, as well as being a nuisance when it comes down to it. Oh, what a great shot, wow. but it's Bride who ends up pushing down Red Stairs, and then Iagator another. Already with some form of momentum, though. Will they be aware of oh. it? No. Alem's completely unaware of the control that's already gone over if he needs to go back in that direction. Oh. But no, gonna try to contest Iagator instead. It nearly gets the kill. Bride, though, taking a lot oh, of damage what? as well. So they'll be going for the plant pretty soon as Rafal starting to get an engagement. Shaikh will take down the first one, but now it's him inside of a 1v4. The case starting to go down. Obviously, Monty making life very, very very difficult. He can't win out the first engagement. Two great positions here for CAG as well, but it really depends on how these engagements go, and it's going BDS's way. Another player standing directly behind that shield, ready to support. Not even to mention the fact that the case was down as well. So Spread around the area, and one of those is Shaiku, who's been currently downed inside of the actual site. Suzu, oh, he can't denied. get the plants off. It's Bride to take him out. Black Ray, though, he'll get a frag of his own, but Rafal knocks it down to just one, and Rafal will be able to get two, and BDS will take Clubhouse. It's those last few elements left in the deep side, and as we can see here, out of Quick reminder as well, we still have plenty more action going on over on our Bravo stream, so if you're interested in checking it out, you're going to see, uh, be seeing quite a bit of Wamai inside of this matchup. Mute going to close it out as Team 1's yeah, are continuing to hold down the top floor. Levy will lose his life inside of the admin stairwell as Renshiro will at least get a double here. Not pressure from Alamau and just Team 1 in general here to try to get their frags back. It seems to be working oh! though, Alamau, what a steal! Look at the player count, he's now alone in the 1v2 and Alamau does it again for one final kill against... Up, it'll deal some damage too. Alems, but Naskin, can he get the shots? He will. Alems now get another one. Alamount shucking these smokes as much as possible. He gets the head as well. The case and start this yet again here, but they have to try and figure out how to stop this from going down. Renshiro will get the plant. Alamount on a triple now. Not the quad as he'll lose out the black car. He sees the transition to white as well, and he wins it. Renshiro. Oh, beautiful shots, but not able to get the heady like he wants to. Oh, what a shot. Did they get the mark out? That's the biggest thing. Bride halfway through this one. KDS finally springs Two. He'll take down Rafal, but can he win it out on the other end? No, Shaiko's already made his move. Bride now reattempting this plan, but all of the kills. The damage on Lagonis now. He's not going to be able to transition back downstairs. Ill advised from him on that rotation as he'll lose his life. But now Levy onto a triple kill. Won't be able to take down. Bride. Only a few seconds remaining to work your way forward. Also, only having as well that one toxic bait they can deny once again. Nitro goes off. We'll deal a massive amount of damage, and Shaiko will be found out from the back lane as well. That's Levy. He's going to have to be multi frags from a lot of these players on the attack. Oh. And no! Oh, the instant Alem's tries to get it. Transitioning into the post plant now. He can't get the frag into the thermite either. And Neskin gets him from all now, which will more than likely fall soon. And that's exactly going to be the case. Levy pushes it back stairs. And yes, it is. He's swung in, pistol out. He'll get taken down from Shaiko up top. And that's going to be the Swinging position. forward, looking for the opponent inside a projector. But where did he go? He's gone. No! He's completely left. Alem's completely oh. falling to pieces for Team 1 right now. Oh, man. This is just going so good. is getting lit up. Nona still down outside. And KDS falls. Levy, the only one remaining now, is he'll be able to at least get one, but BDS, everything to come to fruition in this moment. And it starts off with this, KDS so aggressive, up yellow, that angle grips his way in. One that we're all used to when it comes down to it. Oh, no, HP. the Vector's just such a solid gun, guys. So difficult on such low HP. With the amount of bullets getting sent your way, you're more than likely. RX, Alamau follows through with one, and Neskin with the other. And where, out of nowhere, BDS do what they were doing. Guys, they are never counted out in any moment in time. Great shot there from Alamau, though. That will hold here on yellow. So have to worry about Shaiko as well. He'll take down one. And this is fantastic. Yes. BDS doing it extremely well currently. He'll finally get taken down as he transitions back into Piano Neskin. 
will take. Yeah. Where is yeah. it going to go down? Looks like they want to try and prioritize console here. Oh no, they're gonna wait out the timer. Oh my Alems, you big brain mother trucker. Oh my gosh, he gets them both, and Alems gets it done. Nobody worrying about the top floor, and once again, play earlier, Just and so we know. can show it off again because the game. But I think that's against the rules. <laughs> You can't ban the Mexican officer. Also very low on HP from that earlier doubt. And they'll break on in. There you go. Hyper gets the very first pick. It is we'll to do some more. 20 seconds left. Virtue pivots, and he engages. A very nice fight on his end. But they're traded off. And Strong hit, though, from that very last set of nades. Oh, it takes no. both of them. But now That's the real question. Virtue's position given away. It's a successful plant for BC. That's a fun down. This is where it's going to get tricky. And it's NJR. They both of them will come back down. Janka with the DMR, trying out dual NJR. One kill for Hungry, and G2 desperately needs them. No more, though, from Another Jonka. kill for G2 on the board, but 20 seconds remaining. G2 needs to find something. Down goes Kayak. Hungry, and he's missing out on NJR. He knows his position is tough, but he gets... <laughs> Nation gained virtue from above. Well, this pays off. Looking for another. Kayak down for the count, though. And now virtue's in tough as he's the last one enough. If he tries to emerge from office, Eclipse is going to be there to win. And the headphones, or the headset goes right back. Another. Oh and uh-oh, again, the entry from Dark Zero into West Lobby, and they're going to get, oh! wow, Hungry! What an impressive performance from Hungry. He makes this bad situation somewhat salvageable. If Virtue can get one, and he does, he might be able to win the round, but no, NJR with Very the much does, Parker. Now, early entry here oh. is going to work for Jonka, as he is ready. A great start, especially with the Diffuser in hand, and he'll get a oh. second as Hyper whiffs hardcore on the vault. Not a third, though. Kamazoo is there, and even worse position. Virtue shrugs off that grenade, NJR is down, and G2, after taking their timeout, seem to have back. The problem with him now is he's going to be collapsed upon, and he doesn't check behind him, as Citizen was at least that, and the other hatch that's now just opened as well. <gasps> Eclipse gets a ping, oh. down goes Hungry, Case Surrender. tag to pick it up, and he'll go yeah. get it, but he knows it, there's a bulletproof there, NJR capitalizes yet again, 13 kills for him, and Jonka will get buried on the stairs as DZ. The final player, which I remember was Jonka, was put in that position, but like, that, like we say, Citizen, so good. There's still two minutes left in the round. But Hyper trades back. He's swiftly dealt with as Citizen picks up damage, softening them up. BC falls. G2's guns hitting their marks. Citizen's third oh, kill means NJR is being pressured from the left and from the front. There's just too many angles. He's going to go down. I, I don't know how. It... Did he fall? He. He There's must have fell. They'll pick Hungry back up. And oh! Oh no, Eclipse stands up at the wrong time. Also have to get the execute off. And Hungry sees oh. that, loses oh. the fight to NJR. Case is a drop, head. and that could potentially be damning. Oh, he drops, head. NJR gets him. A oh. quad for NJR. The only one left is Virtue from above. What? And the ace to seal the deal as DZ takes it 7-2. Now we'll get into the operator band phase to start things off. I really like the graphics. I agree with uh, Macy J. I think that they shouldn't be, you shouldn't be able to throw those cameras outside, but that's a conversation for another time. 17 kills was it previously. Pretty 19. incredible stuff. Nice shot from Psycho! And his name is on me. But doesn't die, and he's gonna be able to peak Eclipse and get his third kill as a result. Vacate the premises. Down goes Julio. <gasps> Pambazoo oh. and BC, and on this announcement, so at any moment, he can go for it. And there you go. From the back, Muzi takes down Pambazoo, and he'll down quite intently. Psycho around the corner. BC, the clutch, small magazine, and he cannot outduel Muzi. Ninjas in pajamas take the first round. But you can hear. That's coming in from Muzi, who takes down BC, but a nice shot from Eclipse puts Julio with gun out, no shield. You know, one NJR walks in. He's going to have no cover here. Good coverage from Hyper, though. On to Julio. Down he goes. No! This is an absolute yes no! right now. And they oh! win it! DZ somehow. Oh, what a pinch from DZ. Oh, the run out from Psycho yet again, again though. I is call them essential place in this contest. Essential place. I mean, they've been huge in Julio tracks. BC across the, this team will be the ones to survive. Dragging through the wall. Oh, Pampazoo a nice shot. And now NJR has put himself into a 1v1. But get two picks early in previous rounds, but then they start to lose players. But oh, not so no. here. As Kamikaze is five players upright for Nip. Oh, nice shot from BC on one of those earlier on. But as you can tell from the silhouette, he is relocated, so has Kamikaze. And even if NJR can get one, it's just stat padding. They won't be able to. And it almost looked desperate as he was caught on the cross from Rappel. Whoa, Ooh. NJR. His focus is uh -oh. not in that area. Uh-oh, Pampazoo, you need to be faster than that. Psycho is, and Hyper gets caught sleeping. But no, he picks up two anyway. Oh Look God. at that. Playing again off of it. NJR is still in the same. <laughs> yeah. Does he live? Does he die? He dies. Great round by NJR and Hyper. And he'll accelerate it. They're not going to be able to come get him. 
But a nice shot from MJR, a third opportunity though. It but you're gonna need Musi to cover it effectively. Beak slowed by the Banshee, there's one for Julio Eclipse, a nice shot with the ACS 12, and BC will jump up. You've lost Pino, who by the way, not as effective as you want him to be. MJR trapped in the for DZ to try and hang on to this one and make that Jagger just BC. Pino was the lone casualty for Nip Air Jab, so he'll try to scamper away, but his position is known and Muzi's there to greet him. Kamikaze takes out BC and DZ are in rough shape. Pambazoo resending the stairs. Nice Diffuser down as well. DZ did not have the upper hand, but now they do, and all they need is the final kill on NJR. They've got one second left and they'll get it. And NJR missing out on an opportunity to kill the Montane, but a nice shot on Pino in the Eclipse, and now Psycho will need to go into reading. Pistol out. Hyper with one kill, two for Nip, and then DZ, one of their own. Julio as well be over. Julio knows it. And DZ, the kings of OT. And the advantage right now is for Dark Zero. They're in a 3v2, but their advantage is gone now as Musi continues to slay on the stairs. From above, a nice walk in. Can't get NJR with a triple kill, and he's on the diffuser. Do they know it? You need to get there, Musi. Hurry up! And he'll land down. Eclipse is trying his best, but he's tagged away. Hyper will stop Kamikaze right on the dot. Eclipse with one HP fighting from above and Evan Psycho punishing Hyper oh, and a nice shot from BC this is his opportunity pushed by the Nomad but Julio will clean up and Nip takes the match what a close one Parker well done Mark once again let's see if the Sonics can take down team one in this matchup as we're going live now. as well we haven't seen that as much as of late but that is an option if they need it uh, Valkyrie and Mira being pretty much expected bands here I think it's coming in from the front door though but this Nitro Cell gonna be right up on top of Super a quick denial of that just before Nitro Cell to deny the secondary plan attempt that's coming down right now no the Nitro Cell is off though but it shouldn't matter as Alamal completes the rotate to kill against Rex and that's two of the big fraggers here for the Sonics down on the ground Super and Kans and trade some more out they're able to equalize the equation down to a 2v2 but Oh, no. in the right position. No, he's missed it. He's gonna walk right by. Sees it. Can't get the SMG 11 shot though. Oh Alamo's no! Now so low. He's made the transition oh! and no. Alamo. Coming through from one of these players. He sees him and all <laughs> lights him up. That's gonna be a double for you. We have to see though what the Sonics can do with just three seconds left and trying to put the case in the ground. Super's plan attempt has to go off well. And it's not even gonna need to be completed. Side of circle, but I'm assuming that he's more than likely oh, going to dip out. Goodness. Hell of a shot there from Alamo. Rixer is. It seems like they're manning the door right now. Neskin three fires takes down Yeti. Super finally with some frags though. Can he get the second one? He cannot. The triple from Nest. But here comes the impact. The pressure rolling out against him. He's not ready for it as KDS is able to take him down. And team, finally, a trade comes in from Alamo, but it's instantly responded to here. KDS, one of the last ones alive, and the site scratched that. It's just Lagonis now as he tries to take the fight to the Sonics, but it's not going to work out. Team the one. We'll bait out the Three first one game. here, but oh my goodness, he's gonna lose his life There's inside the projector, but now the bulletproof can are reading things out. Grixer with a freebie here. There's no cross set up anymore. Levy's gonna have to try and get the refrag. He'll the remaining member. He'll at least know where the positioning is. He gets the first one, can he get the second? He, he can! And super able to get it! As soon as we see him actually in the building, he'll lose his head as well. Yeti will get a second frag. He only eats one bullet there, down to one HP. Levy can't get the frags to go. He'll eventually be able to to put us back once again in that even oh. footing, but another Another nade thrown right at Rex and it was Kansan still in the play. So is Super and Grix are now walking right up onto KDS. Thought he was safe in the corner. That happens. That's a potential kill that he can get. There's one down to the 2v1 now. Knows where another oh. one is and he finds it. Levy with just one more. Rexon gonna be smart though, won't commit, but Levy oh. will. However, Rexon shuts it down and the Sonic. Full on Hell in a Cell. They're trying to approach Super from both ends. They'll be able to take him down as a clear of the bathroom. Rexon's gonna have to do something about this. If not, this is more than likely going to be a plan and might be a team one round. The Some big versus four. The setup from the Sonics incredibly detached from one another there, as we've seen Alamo just ripping the entire roster to shreds. He's got a quad, nearly an ace there, but Levy does steal the Positioning white, right next to White Van. Oh. He won't win the initial engagement, though. Alamo gets him. Lagonis. Neither is Rex, and the case will eventually go down, and the inevitability. Oh, the he needs to start it right now. Oh. He got the kill in time, but no, no, no time left. That's so very unfortunate. Kansan hit that shot at the very Laser last. gate. He's going to take some damage from that. Ready for the SMG 11 fight, but super. Once again, a lurking member from the Sonics roster, but so far no success in that, and it's going to be Rexon and Stoms at once as they just drop down the back corner hatch. Yeti as well dealing with the first resistance to it, but both Lagonis and Alamau Stroud all falls to Yeti here. He's got to find both KDS. There's the first one as he takes him out. Alamau, now right there is some damage goes on to Yeti, but can he convert the kill? Yes, he will be able to do it, and with an excess of 10 seconds, this counter to can. But now KDS, oh my goodness, he's going to end up getting caught out inside of sight. Not very much about that, but now the kills start to come through. Rexon will get one of his own. It's down to the three. 3v2, Alamau already lit up, but they obviously understand the positioning of at least Rexon, but oh no, he over push up admin stairs, has one close, but Grixer from behind, not expecting the M590 close, and the Sonics take 
it too. Earlier today, yeah. And again, when we talked about it originally, I still feel the same way, even though it is shot lay. I don't think the map is that Sonic's in trying to get a plant down. Super already rearing to go uh, right outside the breach as well, but it's going to be in the water now for Cyclops. They try and get into these gunfights, but oh no, Rexon wins out the initial one. Starting to get low on time now, though, with only 20 seconds remaining. Grixer up for the double kill now, down into the two versus two. He's got the cross angle, making a triple for him. Now Rexon sitting on the outside, and unfortunately the laser gate acts as an advance notice. In this these Sonic's members. Super still bleeding out inside of sight. He'll finally get cleaned up, but not before it's a refrag. And it's him getting one great, one great example of that type of smart play from the Sonics in their last matchup. And got a run as that drops the case. Another Nitro Cell kill. Rexon gets his triple. More coming out. Another team kill, but ultimately it is not enough. Yeti as well, trying to trap this player in, but no, oh. it's the aggression from Gatorada, who's also run into the secondary. Cyclops, but now they should be worried about their own solo plays. Unless you're Grixer, he's able to sneak in. It's Gatorada instead, and he's locked up Grixer. He goes for the 180. Oh, does he get the shots? <laughs> he does not. It doesn't matter. Up immediately. Nitro out, should be a winner, and there we go. Kanzen, can he get it down in time? Yes, he puts it onto the ground, but now he needs to hold it here. Suzu going to try to get aggressive, but it's countered by Rexon, and now that plant should go down, putting us into a post-timer. Aya spotting it at the we'll last. Continue to hold the blue steps pressure against Suzu's push right now. Yeti with a Nitro Cell thrown up top, catches the first. Oh, Rexon as well. It could be a fight coming from the bottom of Blue Stairs, okay. and finally Ooh. meets his match to Super. Aggressive against this, and that's a good pick. That drops the case, but he loses another teammate just as quickly, and now oh, he's the already been picked up. The recheck on it. Got around against close, but oh. it's Suzu from up on top. Uh, kind of a mishap there for CEG. They're still going to be able to get Yeti and though? Tin just fry Super. Poor <laughs> guy has something to say about it. He'll take down Grixer, and now Rexon with a lot to do, but Black Ray. Oh, what a great play from him. He's going to prone inside of West Main. It's a play. Flawless. Kansen, though, going to be holding on to the actual site, but not before Super. Actually over by Blue, trying to refrag, and he'll be able to at least get one, but not the true suspect in which got the previous kill. Tries to go for the pre-fire, but got around more out. aggressive is, but at the same time, the low HP does not enable him to do that. Anathan shuts down the final kill, and this map is going over Flash. to the, the The Monty play almost worked, and the Clash was, Jesse will bring it up later, one of the best Clash plays you've ever seen. Nothing too interesting to take away from that. So, the band phase done now. Rin. We will... Boogeyman down and bleeding out, and there you go. Collapsed upon. Hungry is back, up. or he can get into help, but Hungry on just a sliver of HP. He's going to get that diffuser down. And pretty close, a big double kill from Yas. Coded and Roy Boy are down, and Yas will need to clutch. Oh You've got to go. Only a second left, and he sticks it. And on Dam one Kia that had gotten a kill this round. A nice shot from Kayak. A third will follow. Wow. A rotate comes in. Mark's playing around the box, and Kayak was looking for that fifth, but it's Citizen to get it, and G2 pick up. More trigger discipline from Yas. Could have netted more, and oh, that got. Not bad. Two players from G2 have their work cut out for them. Make that one as Royboy is down. Jonk is going to death drop, and Royboy has it tough. Two more members, by the way, one of which is Nella, but they all fall. The fire arrow comes in. Citizen gets one. Oh my, no. drop, and the diffuser's in as well, but Citizen is there as the insurance policy. That was for bedroom. And Hungry's actually spotted the Jaeger on a drone. G2 has control of A. They'll need to get the diffuser down. Hungry's doing that in a lockout as Yonka comes online, picks up two big kills. Woogie Man stopped by Citizen, yes. He'll be there waiting. Capital with gun in hand, swings out on it. And G2 for Citizen as he'll look to blind them off. It's some <laughs> Candela's coming out from Hungry as he dies. And Rin barely goes. still up. Rin gets another kill. That's his third, but he's put down to one HP. It's one shot on any player of quad, but it's not. Could eat about 20 HP if, oh, oh, if they go to charge through this it. Opportunity, it's him and Citizen now. And Rin now just bursts in. Oh my goodness. Citizen in a 1v3. If you want anybody to do it, it's him. But Rin! Oh, he's claiming hungry as that's the very first casualty. A follow-up from Coded as the whole kill feed turns blue, but Virtue says none of that. I'll take two for the trouble. Swung on drop. Yes, we'll have this one. No problem. And Dam Wong Kia have tied the game. Beautiful yeah, play. But it just evaporates, and the re from Rin at top red, and he runs it for I'm a second. Only... No, that's Yas. Excuse me, re. The road sort of G2 can equalize. This has been very firmly the Korean team in the lead as Yas gets a kill and drops in and hungry. And in Rin jumps. Coded looks for the plant. Rin silencing one. Oh, oh my goodness! What a play by so Tossed out. It doesn't connect the way they want it to. They've got intel, but nobody is covering hungry. Where's Rin to watch this? You need to be confirmed. Down he goes. It's a quad kill from Hungry. Onto the diffuser, prompting Woogie Man to get a little bit closer. And Hungry dies! That's him. He's dancing with death right now, but Rin is in, Roy Boy with one, and it's Kayak to stand against Damwon Kia with the match on the line. He'll manage to take out Woogie Man, immediately turn! But the match goes to the Koreans. Damwon Kia just crushed G2, 7-4, and they pick up a...